What to do, Lemon Crew? Welcome to a Warhammer 40k battle report. Today we are going to have my Gene Sealer Colts versus Daniel's Death Watch. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to go through the armies in better detail than last time. So, we're actually recording this the day before. Um. Because we want to get it nice and good, because I, I know a few of you wanted us to go through the armies in further detail. So we're going to do that right away, starting with the Gene Stealer Colts. Okay, so we only have one HQ choice in this army, and uh, it's going to be the Patriarch, also my Warlord, uh, and he's going to have two Familiars. And he's going to know Mind Control, because I think that will go very nicely with Smite, having some of these uh, Familiars giving him powers in two of the turns, so if he's, you know, smiting space marines and mind controlling them in the same turn, then can take out quite a few of them. Uh, over here we have a squad of ten pure strain gene stealers, all with rending claws. Over here we have another squad of pure strains, we have eight in this squad, all with uh, pure strain talons. Um, at the back here, so they, they're elite uh, troops now, we have the, uh, well, a squad of neophyte hybrids, uh, all with las guns, a leader with a chainsword and bolt pistol, not bolt pistol, las pistol, sorry. We have a flamer and a grenade launcher in there, and there are nine neophytes with las guns in total. There is also a weapons team with a las cannon, and uh, they're going to be in a chimera. The chimera has a heavy bolter, storm bolter, hunter killer missile, and a heavy flamer, and... Yeah, so they're going to be in that. And now heavy support, we have a Goliath Rock Grinder with a heavy seismic cannon and obviously a heavy stubber. And it has the cache of demolition charges. Now we also have a Cult Lehman Russ with a Battle Cannon, Laz Cannon and two Plasma Cannons. So that is my army. Now we're going to go through the Death Watch. Yeah, I also actually forgot not everyone plays Gene Stealer Cults and therefore not everyone knows what Mind Control does, so I'm going to go through that now. Swap Charge 6, and basically you select an enemy model within 12 inches and roll a d6, and if the score is equal or to or greater than the target's leadership, uh, you can shoot with the model. You roll a 3d6, not a d6, of course. And you, sh you can actually shoot with that model, and you can even shoot uh, other members of its own unit, which is uh, very nice. So now on to Daniel's Death Watch. So we'll start with HQs. The HQs are a watchmaster with Watch Captain, is that? Oh yes. A watch captain with a combi plasma and a chainsword. A chaplain with a bolt pistol and obviously a crozius arcanum because he's a chaplain. A librarian with a how with a four sword, sorry, and a a uh, bolt pistol and his psychic powers are going to be Veil of Time, which is Warp Charge 6, and you pick a friendly unit within 18 inches and until the start of your next psychic phase, that unit can re roll charge up and advance rolls for that unit and they will always fight in first in the fight phase, even if they didn't charge. Nice. Other powers? Oh yeah, I forgot he had two powers. Hmm. Because I'm not very familiar with Death Watch. Or Space Marines. At all. At all. I have a single Space Marine. Oh yeah, I should probably mention uh, this uh, Death Watch uh, also has an ally of uh, allies of Space Marines, which is basically our excuse to bring non-Death Watch Space Marines in the Death Watch. Yeah. Hence the scouts, you know, initiates, just throwing them in the deep end. Yeah. <laughs> he will have Might of Heroes as his second power. Which is Watch Charge 6, and a friendly unit within 12 inches of the Psyker until the start of your next Psychic phase. Add 1 to the model's strength and toughness and attacks characteristics. Nice. should probably also mention there's a lot of uh, unpainted models in this army, unfortunately, but that's actually my job to get them painted up, so yeah, need to get them done soon. Now we're on to the troops' choices. We have a squad of Five veterans, one with a bolt gun. That's actually a Primaris Marine, but we brought him because it's cool. Yep. One with a grav gun, one with a melter gun, one with a delicious flamer. 
and one with a power sword and a bolt pistol. Nice. Now, now this on massive. Now a squad of ten <laughs> veterans. Obviously, I made this one first. As you can see, it's twice as big. A watch sergeant with a plasma pistol and a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. Two with bolt bolt guns. This guy does have a bolt gun. It's uh, on his belt, strapped on his back. Yep. One with a plasma pistol and a power sword. Mm -hmm. One with a grav pistol and a power fist. Mm -hmm. And then one with a combi melter. Mm -hmm. Heavy weapons. Two heavy weapons, one death watch, frag cannon and a missile launcher. Looking forward to unleashing them. Nice. And then these guys. A vanguard veteran with twin lightning cores. Mm -hmm. And a terminator. With green stuff. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> this <is> blood. <laughs> and the heavy melter, a power fist. Heavy flamer. Heavy flamer. Got power mixed fist. up because he also has a <laughs> power multi fist and multi melter, which is yeah. essentially a heavy melter. Then a space marines. Uh, a squad Troops. of scouts. One sergeant with a sniper rifle, mm -hmm. with a cool scope as well. Oh yeah, that's a nice little converted thing I did. A pair of binoculars on the scope. Uh, Three snipers, one with a bipod, which is also cool. Oh yeah, they have skulls as well, which is also very cool. Oh yeah, I like them, that Gene Steeler skull. And the... Yeah, we're not, this isn't a modelling video, this is like... Yeah, <laughs> uh, and almost forgot to mention the most important of all, the da -da -da. missile launcher. Yeah, four of them have camel cloaks as well. Yeah. The sergeant and the snipers. And then let's move on. <laughs> to the best model in the game. Uh, the yeah. elite choices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the watch captain. I is have probably a, the I best. Have a, I have a lean on <laughs> That is let's cool. Uh, a seismic hammer with a multi melter underneath, if you can see it there. Ooh. A storm bolter under that. Uh, under that hand. Right. Right there. Yeah, because you can move his arms because the clip in. And two delicious hunter killer missile missiles. Mi missiles. <laughs> so that is Daniel's one thousand points of Death Watch. Okay, so Gene Steeler Colts have deployed first. Uh, simply, simple deployment. We have the Chimera over there, and the Neophyte hybrids are in there. And uh, Cult Ambush we have uh, down here, which is just everything else, the Gene Steelers and the Patriarch. And then the two tanks there. Uh, Death Watch deployed second. And we have the big squad of veterans here. We have Balotus, uh, the ch chapter, not chapter, the watch captain. There we go, back here. Scouts, there. Librarian, right here. Small squad of veterans, chaplain, and of course the ironclad dreadnought. So, Daniel, you can try and seize the initiative. Uh, Speak loudly, come on. How are you that turn one? Looking for a six? Unlucky. No six. So we have Gene Sealer Colts, turn one. Alright, I forgot to mention what the mission is. Uh, basically, uh, it's one point per unit completely destroyed. And any unit that is completely destroyed can actually come back on, as long as it's not the Warlord, which is worth... Is it D3 or 3? It's just 3. 3... I think it's D3. We'll double check. Victory points. We'll just do 3. Yeah. No, we'll do D3, because it says... No, it is D3. So the Warlords, so that'll be the... Uh, watch, Captain, and of course the Patriarch. Uh, they're worth D3, and then any other unit that dies can come back on at the table edge. Gene Steel Colt's movement phase is done. We have the Lehman Russ, where well, all the tanks have just moved up to get that, and then the Chimeras kind of come into this corner. And none of my psychers are on the board yet. So, shooting phase, first of all, we'll do the Chimera. We're going to just do this straight. We're going to fire the Hunter Killer missile and the Ironclad Dreadnought. We're hitting on falls. So, the missile has hit, and we are wounding on a four. Yes, six is twice in a row. What do you feel about that? Um, a bit like disappointed. <laughs> I'm hoping that I get the save. Five plus save. Unlucky. So D6 damage. Two. 
Wow. So the ironclad is down to six wounds. So now we're going to fire the heavy bolter into the ironclad, so hitting on fours. Unlucky! Right, so we don't need these anymore. Finally, we have the storm bolter hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on sixes. Oh! Next, we'll do the rock grinder. Uh, we'll fire all weapons into this massive squad, uh, get some marines down. We will fire first the heavy stubber. We'll, we'll do, see if the best will last. Heavy stubber hitting on falls. So that's one hit, wounding on falls. There's a wound. So it's a big fat AP zero, so who's this going on? It'll go on two in here since he has a two plus save. Oh, come on, fail this, fail this, fail this, fail this. I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very lucky game for you today. Yeah. Oh, by the way, because you've realised they don't have any death watch shoulders, I'm going to sort that out. I've got some shoulder pads there uh, right now from where I am. And we're just going to like pry these off with a screwdriver or something and then fix it. And then we'll fire the short wave. Oh, no, we won't because we are not in rain. So on the bright side, I'm getting more shots. So hitting on fours. Wounding on fours. That is a Who's it going on? Uh, what AP is it? Uh, Minus one. Minus one. Whoa. Sticking on this bottom. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be a four plus save. Come on! Yes! So the absolutely useless rock grinder didn't do anything. We're moving on to the Lehman Russ. Prepare to die. We'll start with the last cannon hitting on fours, I think. I'll double check. Oh, that's a miss anyway. Next we'll do the two plasma cannons. I am definitely not supercharging based on previous experience. Then our last game it blew itself up in the first turn with the <laughs> cannons. So we're not going to supercharge, we're just going to keep it nice and steady. Scratch that, I'll supercharge with one because I want the winning on twos. So I'll do the non-supercharging one first, so heavy D3 shots. One shot. You're lucky you didn't supercharge that. No, this is just how many shots I've got. Hitting on fours. <sighs> So this is the supercharged one, I've got a bad feeling about this. Two shots. No ones, I don't even care if I miss, I just don't want any ones. Yes! It was winning on twos, so that's two wounds. Hitting on fours, so unfortunately that's a miss. Wounding on twos. Yes. So a six plus save on the one with the bolt gun. It's actually Veil Donatus from Deathwatch Overkill. Just, we just use him because... Well, you, you're meant to. Anyways, now. Nowadays. Oh, he's dead. He is dead. Finally, the battle cannon. Your doom is nice, Space Marines. So, D6 shots. Five shots. No, 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 no. Let me stop you right there. Five shots hitting on four. Your stop you right there did not work, I'm afraid. Un that was alright, not bad. Two, that missed. Not bad though. Wounding on twos? Oh, of course, there's gonna be one. So, which two Marines is this going on? Uh, we'll do one on this bolt gun. Yep. And what AP is it? Minus two, I think. Minus two. So one on the combi melter. Uh, five plus. Five plus save. Oh! Failed. He's dead. And who else is the other one going on? Oh yeah. Five plus save. And he's dead as well. That is the end of Gene Steeler Cults, turn one, moving on to Death Watch. Okay, so nothing advanced apart from him who's uh, he's just kind of run and he's hiding because of how many points he's worth. These guys have all just run forward towards their doom. Um, Not towards their here, doom, so that they can get the Lehman Ross in close combat. Everything here has slowly moved up uh, towards the Chimera, because they all know what's in there. So the Librarian is casting Might of Heroes and Veil of Time on this. We'll start with uh, Veil of Time, needing a six. Failed. Now Might of Heroes, this is the one you need, really. And that passes just. 
one hit. So these now have plus one strength, toughness and attacks, which is just what they need at the minute. So we've both done the same tactic. The Ironclad is going to fire both Hunter Killer missiles on the first turn into the Chimera. Hitting on threes. Hoping the time repeat doesn't happen, judging from what I've done with Hunter Killers before. You have got to be kidding me! Both Hunter Killer missiles go to waste. Stormbolt, uh, cause why not hitting on freeze? Please cheer me up! You've got to be kidding me in the exact same roll! Some unlucky rolls from the Dreadnought there, we'll move on to the Space Marines. One shot from the Grav Gun into the Chimera, hitting on freeze. Wait, we'll re-roll that. Try. You now the bolt gun again hitting on threes. That's a six. And wounding on sixes. Unlucky. So this whole bunch of marines just did nothing. We'll move on to over here. So crack missile from the missile launcher into the Lehman Ross, is it? The rock grinder. Um, so that is going to get a cover save. Well, cover bonus. Wait, would, it, would the Lehman Ross? The Lehman Ross uh, would, yeah. Yeah, this thing's in the way. But uh, you're hitting on fours because you moved. Uh, misses anyway. Now four shots from the snipers, hitting on threes. So uh, we're actually going to re-roll that. Because he's getting a cover bonus from just one of them. So completely ignore that that roll happens. So hitting on threes with the one. That's a hit. Wounding on sixes. Now the other three. Hitting on threes. Single hit, wounding on sixes. It's not going well for the Death Watch this turn. Final unit that can shoot. So we have one plasma pistol into the rock grinder. So one grav pistol into the rock grinder. We are hitting on threes. That is a miss. Now we have a plasma pistol into the rock grinder. I'm scared to shoot supercharge it. Oh, are you gonna supercharge it though? Yes! <laughs> and pew. this is going quite catastrophically for you. Um, uh, yes, it is. So what's next? One multi melter that moved. So you are hitting on fours into the. Is it the rock grinder or the Lehman Ross? Rock grinder. Rock grinder. And that is a hit. Wounding on threes. The scouts are actually wounding on fives, not sixes. But it doesn't matter because he didn't get any fives. <laughs> and that is not a wound. So a solid shell from the frag cannon into which one? Rock grinder. Rock grinder, hitting on threes. Right, um, yeah, first first. <laughs> oh my goodness! So the crack missile, hitting on fours. Please! That's yes! a hit! But can you wound on a three? You cannot. Oh my goodness! So the Space Marines doing absolutely zero damage this turn. Moving on to Gene Sealer Colts turn two. We will begin some uh, cult ambush, uh, bringing uh, the end of the movement phase. Uh, so I'll do that first. Right, so the tanks are coming scarily close. The Lehman Russ did, because uh, why not? And the Rock Grinder did. Hopefully, uh, no, definitely gonna get into some close combat with these uh, Space Marines. So that'll be nice. Oh, what? My guys are revolved around close combat if you can't tell us. Yeah, and I've got to drill those blades. So my uh, neophyte hybrids have come yeah, out with the Chimera. Yeah, I've got a grab pistol. I've got some pistols. Okay. Although, unluckily, one of my pistols killed himself. Right, so we will do some cult ambush. So now this is not going to be good for you. We'll bring on the Patriarch and the Pure String Gene Steelers with the Rending Claws. Bring them on. We're trying to get, to get around here, but we'll see what the roll gives us. A five. So the Gene Steelers just got on here. I don't know why this guy has uh, Scything Talons. I'll get that changed. And he no longer has Scything Talons. So these just got on here. They can move D6 inches or shoot. Nothing can shoot. So they can move D6 inches. They all choose not to because we will try our best to charge them. But moving on to the psychic phase now. The Patriarch is on. First thing we're going to cast, we're going to try and cast Smite into the Death Watch, hoping for more than a 10. Unlucky! Okay, so we got the 6, so we are just doing a stand. D3 Mortal Wounds. 1. So that's a Mortal Wound on this guy, he is dead. 
And then uh, one of my familiars will lend him a psychic power and he will cast mind control on this scout here. So, needing a six. Yes. No. We'll fire a frag missile into these guys. D6. Four, it's not looking good for you. Hitting on threes. Oh. Wounding on fours. Uh, I done together. <laughs> so that did nothing, unfortunately. So you, familiar, you have gone to waste. Shooting phase. Uh, we'll start with the tanks over here. We'll have a heavy stubber into these guys. Fours to hit. One hit. Fours to wound. Fives to wound because they have increased strength. Doesn't matter, you rolled a three. I said strength, I meant toughness. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll fire a short wave because of the higher strength. Uh, actually, no, we'll fire a long wave short? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna fire the long wave to try and get that uh, here, wounding on uh, threes, so we'll hit on fours. That's exactly what happened last time with the Chimera, was it? Uh, or was it the Heavy Stubber? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Now the Lehman Rust will start with the last cannon into these guys. To hit. That's a hit. Only just wounding on threes instead of two. Would be two, without the stupid thing you put on them. That didn't go through, did it? Uh, Night of Heroes did. Yeah, that's right. Might of heroes. Oh my god. Now the plasma cannons, we will supercharge one again, so this is the supercharged one. Two hits. Two shots, I said hits, I meant shots. Hitting on fours, yes. So we got that extra 1 AP, so that's nice. So we are wounding on threes. That's a wound. Who's gonna take the wound? You mean the AP minus three wound? Yeah. So not necessarily a wound. You're killing all the bad guys! Um, I See, missile launcher is yeah. going to take a six plus save. I was doing Please then. be oh, a six. That, 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 that is the complete opposite of what I wanted. So looking like these are going to be coming on from this side very shortly. So maybe it'll give the gene stealers a new opportunity. Or maybe I'll put them on the complete opposite. Side. They might stay there. Maybe they should have moved that D six. Oh well. Now we'll do the safe non supercharged one. D3 hits, that's two. Wounding on threes still. Hitting on fours, of course. Wounding on threes. That's two wounds. So who are the two wounds going to go on? Uh, one on him. Yep. One on him. Okay. So this is going to be uh, two five plus saves. Good. And one. We should have done them separately, actually. We'll redo both of them. So we'll start with this guy. The Death Watch Falcon. Yeah. He's lost all of his stuff. Please, no! So he's dead. And then we'll do the Power Fist. If you fail both of these, I am so sorry that we did it wrong. No. He is dead. So now we have D6 hits from the Battle Cannon. That's two. Unlucky. I keep saying hits, I mean shots. Hitting on fours. Oh. So now we'll do the Chimera into the Dreadnought will do. So three hits, three shots again, I just did it, hitting on uh, fours. Wounding on fives. Oh. Finally we'll do the Storm Bolter. Fours. Moving on to the Neophyte, uh, last cannon, hitting on fours. Yes. This is once again in the Dreadnought. I uh, forgot to mention. Wounding on... Threes. Six plus save to try and save D3 damage. Oh, failed. Unlucky. D6 damage on the Dreadnought. If I get six, it is dead. And that's a four. Dreadnought is down to two wounds. We have nine shots from Las Guns coming into the not surprising. Marines. Force to hit. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, we have one hit. Wounding on fives. That's a wound. Three plus save. 
failed. Which marine is gonna die? Um, Baldwin, Primaris, and Posta. Period. And we'll have a crack grenade from the grenade launcher going into the dreadnought. Hitting on pause. Wow. Okay, moving on to the charge phase. The rock grinder will charge these guys. He's uh, will do Overwatch. Melt a gun. I don't think you can. Uh, we'll double check. Okay. Right. Well, uh, multi melter. Hit on sixes. That's not a hit. I actually haven't found anywhere that it says you can't do any Overwatch. So, D6 hits. D6 or my hits. Two. Two. Winning on fives. That is one wound. Five plus armor on the rock grinder. Nope. Rugged construction. No. The rock grinder is down to nine wounds, but he is still grinding some rocks. So we'll do a charge roll because we can. So that's four, so he can move four inches. So he can definitely go in with the Terminator like that. So there's everything that will charge, so we'll have the Rock Grinder doing his attacks first. Six attacks, hitting on five. Two hits. And I am wounding on twos. That's one wound. Who's that going into? Lightning Claws? Uh, oh. Terminator, since he has two wounds. D3 damage it does, mind. So four plus save. Uh, uh, is it on the Terminator? Uh, no. Alright, so 5 plus save in that case. Uh, failed. He is dead. Okay, so 2 attacks from the Terminator hitting on 4s. With the Power Fist. That's one hit. So, wounding on 3s. Yes, and his strength is 4. That's a wound. No armor. D3 damage. Rugged construction. Oh yeah, of course. Rugged construction. Six plus. Passed. Unlucky. Well, I'm the sport. <laughs> uh, that was still very unlucky. I'm a good sport. Why do you have to roll so much good? Okay, so done some decent damage to this squad. Uh, killed one marine over here, but not a lot of damage anywhere else. Really good damage there, so I'm very happy with that. I'm not. Moving on to Death Watch, turn two. So Death Watch movement phase, uh, oh. the watch captain just kind of shuffled up, and all these guys just moved on towards the neophytes. Okay, so smite from the librarian into the chimera for the psychic phase. And that is passed. Less than 10, so D3 mortal wounds. D3 mortal wounds. Maelstrom? Not 2D6. This is it. Compared to my usual list, half fluffy. Are you a Maelstrom 4? Yeah, that is three! <laughs> the Chimera is now down to seven wounds. <laughs> Casting Veil of Time into the Dreadnought. <laughs> and that is through. Shooting phase, what are we going to start with? Uh, we will start with... Uh, ...Battle of the Watch Captain. Uh, the watch captain will turn around and shoot at the pure strains. Okay, so we're going to fire everything from the combi plasma. So uh, first the bolt gun hitting on threes. Killing a gene stealer because you knocked him off the table. Wounding on fours. So plasma not supercharging, hitting on threes. Unlucky. Right, so the Dreadnought's gonna fire his Storm Bolter and his multi melter into the Neophytes. We'll start with the Storm Bolter. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Unlucky. So multi melter hitting on fours. And he's at half range. So oh, that's a hit. Wounding on twos. Very, very twos. Yeah! That's a wound. It doesn't make a difference because it's one wound. So the amount of damage you're doing doesn't matter, unfortunately. I've just remembered. Which one dies? Um, that's gonna be him. D6 hits from the Flamer from the Space Marines into the Neophytes. Five hits. Okay, and now we are wounding on threes. Every single one apart from all. Five plus saves. And two passed, two die. And it's gonna have to be these two. And we are hitting on threes with the melter gun. That's a hit. Winding on big twos again. 
Yeah! Yep. Another neophyte dead. I might put it on the sergeant, actually. I'm gonna put it on the sergeant. Really? So yeah, they're on a lower leadership now, but not too worried about it. Okay, so now the bolt pistol hitting on threes. That's a miss. Grav gun hitting on threes. And wounding on threes. It's a wound. That's another neophyte dead, and that's gonna be this one. Right from the back there. Yeah. And we've actually completely forgot about special issue ammunition. Because <laughs> he's literally. Uh, so, do you want to start, really start using that now? Do you want to start using that now? Yeah. Okay. So, Cassius firing his bolt pistol just through that gap. Firing a hellfire round into them. So, that means wounding on twos regardless. So, you're hitting on twos. Nice. Or threes. One or the other, doesn't matter. Wounding on twos. Yeah. Okay. So we have a 5 plus save. Yes, he's fine. Okay, so the scout's gonna shoot at the neophytes and they're gonna get a cover bonus for him. So D6 shots. That's gonna be 3 shots. And you're gonna be hitting on 3s. Wounding on 3s. 5 plus, uh, 4 plus because of cover. Uh, one past, one fit. So we'll get rid of him. And now the sniper rifles hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounding on threes. All sixes are an extra mortal wound. And that's just two wounds. Five of Palmer. Uh, both failed. Uh, we'll just get rid of these two. Cool grenade guy. Is so the charge phase, the Dreadnought is charging the Neophytes, uh, gonna fire some overwatch, we'll start with the uh, grenade launcher. So crack round, hitting on sixes. Nope. They're within range to chuck grenades, so I'm gonna fire two uh, bunches of blasting charges. So 2d6 shots, says three, wow. Hitting on sixes. We have one hit, and we are wounding on sixes as well. Ah, now the flamer. This is the dangerous one. Oh boy. We're wounding on sixes with three hits. Not three at all. Six, but none of them wound. Now the last cannon hitting on sixes. Yes. Charge roll for the dreadnought. Can you reach? Yeah, definitely. Now the marines are also going to charge. I'm going to fire overwatch. Again, firing two blasting charges. So that is going to be 8 shots. The other one was a 4, you just didn't see. Hitting on 6 is bound to be at least 1. Oh, 2. Wounding on 5. And that's 1 wound. 3 plus armor. That's passed. Next we're going to fire a frag grenade. 6 is to hit. No hit. Now the flamer again. Five shots. He's doing well. Hits, actually. This boy is making me happy. He better not die in this combat. What? Uh, we are going to wound on... Let me check. Wounding on fours. And that is two wounds. So two three plus saves for the space marines. One's failed. Which marine dies? Uh, we'll do... Two plus poisons. Sadly, the one with the melter. One is gone. Space Marines making the charge roll. Keep calling them Space Marines, they're veterans. Okay, okay, so these are in. So we are moving on to the fight phase. We'll do the Dreadnought first and then the veteran. Four attacks from the Dreadnought to the Neophytes hitting on threes. Two hits. We're gonna redo that because we're hitting on falls. Two hits again, doesn't matter. Strength 12 versus toughness three. I think we're wounding on twos here. I might just go and double check. <laughs> wounding on twos. And that is two wounds. So, uh, looks like the only ones he can kill are this guy and this guy. Now the marines, looks like only these two are attacking. We'll do the one without the sword first. Hitting on threes. No. Now with the power sword, hitting on threes. And better. Wounding on threes. One dead. Unfortunately, good boy's gone. And these can't do any attacks, but I don't want them to attack uh, first anyways. I want this thing to attack first, try and get rid of this Dreadnought. Dreadnought, Terminator. So we are wounding, uh, hitting first on five. 
And we are wounding on twos. Four plus save on the Terminator. That is unlucky. D3 damage, hoping for more than a two. He's dead. So that means this squad can come back next turn. So I'm now winning one to zero. We will do some consolidation rolls. We'll start with the him. Dreadnought. I don't think they're gonna make it. It doesn't matter anyway, because he's they're uh, definitely getting within kill. an inch. The rock grinder will consolidate. Another loot against vaporize. Three. Wow. So he's just inverted himself. He hasn't even turned around. Just the front's just gone in and become the back. Uh, and he's moved three inches that way. Morale phase on the neophytes. Killed three. Oh my god. If only I kept the sergeant, so two run away, and that is going to be all the neophytes gone. So that's. So they can come on next turn. And that is. And now it's one all. Yeah, we should have done the consolidation rolls now. Uh, so if you want to actually roll for the... Hit the boss pole. Guys, so we'll do the dreadnought first. That is the end of my dreadnought. Three. Just realised one thing that never happened was the neophytes but, never attacked back. So uh, we're going to do this. Uh, yeah, that's right, they couldn't. Consolidation roll for the veterans. So they're very their leadership Yes, fine. Wow. So they've just got closer to the Chimera, not quite in combat yet because it's consolidation. But quite a brutal turn uh, for both of us. So we'll see what the what turn three holds. So the Gene Stealers are going to move this way, hopefully going to get that D3 victory point. So the Rock Grind has just caught everyone by surprise and just uh, changed his mind. So he's going to come this way because he just remembered that that squad of veterans is coming on this uh, table side this turn. Also the Lehman Ross is just staying put. And the Chimera has fled and come this way. So the Neophyte Hybrids have come on right here and they will move and embark into the Chimera. Okay, so now moving on to the Psychic phase. He's just going to cast one power, which will be Smite, into the... He can't do that. Yes, he can. Into the... Uh, he's not quite Watch Needing a five, wanting a ten. Oh, D6, mortal wounds. Oh, no. And that's two. Wow. Now the Watch Captain is down to three wounds. <laughs> Shooting phase, nothing's going to shoot. Charge phase, you already know what's going to happen here. Overwatch, would you like to overwatch with both the plasma and the bolt gun? Because you can. Indeed. Stole the bolt gun, hitting on sixes, two shots. Nope. Will you supercharge the plasma? Okay, hitting on sixes. Yeah. one hit. And you are wounding on threes. Yay! Five plus because of with Kitter, with whatever it's called. Is it on the table? Can't remember. Basically, he's dodged <laughs> on a five. Yes, he's fine. No. Charge roll. Four. Unfortunately, he's not in. So it was a quick uh, turn for the Gene Stealers. Not much happened apart from the neophytes coming on. So hopefully, something good can come out of that. Moving on to Death Watch oh, turn on. three. I forgot to call ambush in this turn because everything has to be on by turn three. So we're going to make a gentleman's agreement that I can do it on turn four. So death watch. Uh, these guys have come on. You're meant to do that at the end of the movement phase, but we just did it now because we forgot about it. But it doesn't matter. Movement done. Everything up here is staying put. Uh, are these going to move actually? No, they can. They can move. They can move. I don't think it matters where you put them when you put them on actually. So over here, these guys moved, uh, trying to get away from these pure screens because they don't want to get ripped to shreds. And uh, this uh, watch captain's moved from here, just in the general direction of over there. I think they really want their neophytes dead again because it was an easy point. Um, Cassius, aka Chaplin, has followed these guys, the Dreadnought and the veterans who have again followed the Chimera. So we're going to put Might of Heroes from the librarian into the uh, veterans for the psychic phase. And that's through, just. So they have Might of Heroes and we're going to throw Veil of Time on them as well, because why not? Through. So these have been buffed up. Now moving on to the shooting phase. Should we start with the Dreadnought? 
Yes. So we're going to start with the Storm Bolter. Hitting on threes. One hit. And wounding on fives. Yay! Three plus armor for the Chimera. Passed with a four. Yeah. Now the Multi Melter. Uh, hitting on fours. Case, uh, That's a hit. Wounding on threes. Okay. So no armor against that, and we are dealing damage now. Rolling two dice because it's in half range. Discarding the lowest, and that's going to be six damage. It is down to one wound. How dreadful is that? You know, I'm not scared of it dying because it's just going to come back on. I'm, I'm more scared that you're going to get another point. Two, actually, because I would have killed both. Yeah, that's if it blows up. Yes. So we're going to do the veterans into the Chimera, starting with the bolt pistol. That's a hit. Wounding on fives. That's a wound. Three plus armor needing this save. Saved. Two shots from the grav gun. Uh, threes. We'll be able to that one. Missed. Wounding on fives. No wound. So, charge phase. Uh, Dreadnought's going to charge this, so I'll fire my overwatch. Array of las guns hitting on sixes. Two hits. Wounding on sixes. No wounds. Heavy Bolter. Hitting on sixes. No hits. Storm Bolter. Hitting on sixes. Again, no hits. Heavy Flamer now. D6 hits. Six hits. It's wounding on fives. Needing two wounds, please. One wound. Could take it down. Four plus armor. Thirty models. Let's do this. Yes. Passed, unfortunately. Finally making the charge roll. Hopefully, I'm actually in. I'm in. You are in. Are the veterans going to charge? Might as well. So, uh, array of las guns. Sixes. No hits with that. Now we'll do the heavy bolter. Sixes to hit. Storm bolter. Twos to hit. Sixes. I meant two shots. The Heavy Flamer, D6 hits, three hits. Wounding on threes, two four plus saves. One failed, which Marine dies. Sadly, I think it's gonna have to be the Flamer. He's gone. So just like that, how do you feel? How do you feel about that? Mm, depends on whether I get in or not. Which I mean, you do. Yeah, and then that just right, so the Dreadnought gonna go first. Uh, Seismic Hammer hitting on fours. Two hits. So now we are wounding on three strength 12 versus toughness seven. The Chimera is dead. Does it explode on a six? It does not. So the Neophytes have been left behind because of this. At least I think that that's how it works. Right, we know how it works now. So these should have gone within three inches of it. But, oh well, I'll just leave that. So, uh, each one is a dead model. One, single one, two ones. So I'll just kill two Lasgun guys. Uh, boop, boop. Actually, be better make it him. So it is now 2-1 to the Death Watch. Uh, yeah, looks like that's that. Right, shooting. So now Gene Stealer Cults, turn four. So uh, Gene Stealers have moved up there. So the Gene Stealers and the Patriarch have moved there. The Demon Rust has come next to the Rock Grinder. And those Neophytes are going to accept their doom and stay where they are. So the final familiar will lend a psychic power to the Patriarch. So first we're going to cast Smite into those uh, veterans. Just passed. D3 Mortal Wounds. And that's one. Which vet dies? Mm, well, Eat bolt gun. And I'm also going to cast mind control uh, on that dead. missile yeah, launcher. Dead. <laughs> Actually, no, on the terminator. No. That is through. So heavy flamer into his own squad. Four. Wounding on threes. 
Oh, Two wounds. Maybe I should have actually used the plasma gun. One of the plasma guns. And then supercharged it and popped her all the one. That would have been quite good. Four plus armor against the heavy flamer. One passed. Who dies? Well, of course. Um, so shooting phase, the neophytes. These neophytes shooting into the... Well, the last cannon will shoot into the Dreadnought, first of all. Force to hit. Oh. Crack missile into the Dreadnought. And Forza. Wounding on sixes. No. Flamer into the veterans. Three hits. Wounding on fives. And one wound. Three plus armor for the veterans. Yeah. Is it seven? Yeah, they look really cool. On nine. Really cool. One, two, three, but four, five, six, six, seven, eight. I didn't think they'd be deleted that hard. Eight blasting charges <laughs> into the veterans. So we have eighteen shots from blasting charges, hitting on fours. And wounding on fives. Rerolling one of them because it was cocked. Three plus armor on the marines. And all passed. So no one cared about anything these neophytes just did to these bunch of guys. Charge phase from the gene stealers into the marines. So a lot of overwatch. Let's start with the missile launcher. Frag or crack? We'll do a frag into the gene stealers. Nice. D6 shots. Three. Hitting on sixes. One dropped. No hit. Okay, so the combi melter bolt gun hitting on sixes. No hit. Melter. So, Hitting on sixes. The multi melee. Hitting on sixes. Yes. yes. And wounding on twos. Five wounds. No modifiers. It's a wound. And it will be this one to die. Heavy flamer. This is going to be the bad one that I don't like. <laughs> Two. I just realised the gene stealer that died has a five plus and vulnerable. He's dead. Right. Anyways, wounding on fives. That. One wound, five plus. He's fine. Now the frag cannon. Are you gonna fire a solid shell or uh, frag? Oh, so two d six hits into the gene stealers. That's what this is made for. So we have uh, nine shots. Uh, actually hits. So these are wounding on threes. Okay, so this is a nice five plus and vulnerable. We'll reroll this one. I'm trying to get rid of so four gene stealers dead. One, two, uh, three, four. One thing I forgot to do again was call ambush, so I'll just quickly do that now. In the middle of the turn. Oh wow. Right, so I, uh, you choose two sides and nominate them A and B. This side. This side. And the back. Well, that'll do. Which one's A, which one's B? There we go. Blaster. This one will be B. And that's A, okay. So A is low, B is high. B. So the Talon uh, pure strains are now here. Um, Try to assault them. But anyway, back to this uh, very long Overwatch. Uh, the plasma pistol. Will he supercharge? Oh, uh, no. Nope. Hitting on sixes. Not worth it for Overwatch. Nope. Second plasma pistol, should have just done them both at once, hitting on sixes. No. Nope. Grav pistol. Uh, they can shoot at a different target than they have to charge, right? Hitting on sixes! Yeah. No! Nope. Now, charging. They're in. Fine. So they're in like that, the Patriarch is staying put. Uh, onto the fight phase. This thing, uh, the Gene Seals will attack first. So, uh, hitting on threes or twos. I'll double check. Yeah, it's threes. Is that weird boy charming you got from Hitting on fours, wounding no, I've already hit. Wounding on fours, rending on sixes. There's one rend, two rends. Okay, so you get two uh three plus saves. 
two are already dead. Unless I put them... No, four plus save, sorry. One more. Unless I put them on one of them on Terminator, and then it was... Um, well, if you want to, do you want to? No. Okay. So, four plus saves. Oh. So, total of two die. Which ones die? Uh, it can be the frag cannon, the missile launcher, or the multi mallet. The multi mallet would get a. Uh, more stuff away. No, no. It's not. Him. Dream, that we've got, like, Come on. 20 minutes before, 20 yeah. minutes. The multi mallet. Oh, yes. And sadly, it's going to have to be the frag cannon. Yes, so the resource. pretty much paid so Okay, so it changed his mind. It's going to be the missile launcher. Okay, so Space Marines attacking. Uh, we'll do the. Block first. Hitting on threes. Two hit. Wounding on fours. Whacked in the face with a frag cannon. Five plus. Passed. Now the power fist from the Terminator. Hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on twos. To wound. And five plus and vulnerable. Fine. So this is uh, the end of the turn. Uh, so now we're going to start Death Watch turn four, and we're going to wrap it up after this turn. Movement finished. The Watch Captain moved up, and so did the Chaplain. Uh, we've forgot about Might of Heroes on them, but oh well. But it's going to get cast on them again. Uh, not that it matters. Oh, it does actually, doesn't it? Yeah, that's true. And then Smite into the Gene Stealers. And it's through. D3 mortal wounds, not looking forward to this. I am. And that's three. These are dead. I'm Only two left. I'm shredding the jeans, Yeah. Uh, to do the uh, pistols in the fight phase, so we'll do them now. We have two plasma pistols. Supercharging them both, because why not? Yeah, you might as well. Last turn. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. And they're wounding on uh, twos. Let's do this! And that's two wounds. Five plus invulnerable, one of them is dropped. Five times. Wounding on fours. Three wounds at minus two. One pass. This is another Gene Sealer dead, we'll take away that one. Now we have a grab pistol. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Five plus invulnerable. Passed. So the Dreadnought, the further shooting phase, Dreadnought into the Neophytes, uh, Stormbolt are uh, hitting on threes, one hit. Wounding on threes. Five plus armor. Failed. Boop! Multi Melter. Hitting on fours. Threes, actually. Did the Dreadnought move? It didn't, did it? So threes. Unlucky. Ball pistol hitting on threes. That's hit. Wounding on threes. No. Grav gun hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. One wound. Uh, six plus armor, I think. I'll double check. No, no armor, so it's another one dead. Uh, we'll get rid of him. So the charge phase, the dreadnought is going to charge the neophyte. Start with the last cannon. Sixes to hit. Crack grenade hitting on sixes. D6 for the flamer. Sixes to wound. Getting some awfully terrible rolls here. Blasting charges. There's 12 shots, sixes to hit. Absolutely zero hits. The dreadnought is in. Uh, veterans? May as well try and get them in. Last cannon. Miss. Grenade, frag grenade. D6 or 3? D3. D3. D6, I'm sure. I'll check. It is D6, so 5. No, I mean, for friendly games. Wounding on. No, 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 on 5. Actually, no, hitting on 4s, 6s, first of all. And then wounding on 5s. Um, we also have the. Flame. Flamer. 1. And that's going to be 5s. No. Then again, we're going to use uh, blasting charges. Sixes to hit. Wow. So 
So, uh, three actual hits, uh, wounding on five. Okay. And there's one wound. Three plus armor, hoping to kill a space marine here. He's dead! Get out of that, Grab them! Unlucky. Right, so fight phase. The dreadnought goes first. For attacks hitting on fours of the seismic hammer. One. I'm shot. Would have been threes with the dreadnought plus combat weapon. Scourge is a pretty He's horrible. And you are wounding on twos, that's a wound. Scourge is a pretty horrible as a true one. He's dead. But then again, they're basically the same. So one has Power sword, Marine. One has wings and there's a point of armor. Threes to hit. Also, one's got a pistol. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A point of more expensive. And now you are wounding yeah. on also, threes. I'm uh, lucky. Pistol. It's a ball pistol hitting on threes. It's a hit. Wounding on threes. Five plus armor. Failed. The sergeant is dead. Okay, no one can attack. From the neophytes, of course, because you just watched everyone else attack. Moving over here, the gene stealer's turn. I think this might be the end of the gene stealer. Need to kill this terminator, because that's what's going to be the bane of him. Uh, hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Three plus armor. One failed. So, uh, he's down to a wound. Okay, now we'll start with the normal marine. We'll do things slowly. Hitting on threes. One hit. Wounding on fours. He just got whacked in the face. Failed. The gene stealer is dead. So you're winning 3-1 now. They would come on next turn, but there is no next turn, so that's unlucky. That is the end of the game. So you can either exit the video now if you don't want to watch the uh, after battle conversation talk. But if you want to stay for that, please do. And we'll see you then. So normally now uh, Daniel would be here, but he's not available right now. But I just want to talk a bit about the mission. Um, I really liked it. I am aware that I forgot to bring my Chimera back on, and that could have made it 3-2 to Daniel instead of 3-1, if I managed to kill his Dreadnought with some of the weapons on the Chimera. But, yeah, I think it, I like the way it represents, you know, uh, kind of like endless armies. I think it would work good with either Tyranids or Chaos, but it's a good mission uh, if you want to try it yourself. Uh, yeah, so just wanted to talk a little bit about the mission. Uh, so thank you for watching.